Hello everyone. In this lesson, I will cover relational operations in R. By the end of this lesson, you will understand and use relational operators to compare values in R. These are the various relational or comparison operators in R. We have the less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, equal to and not equal to. And on the right hand side, we do have the corresponding operators that we use in R. So let us dive right into R and have a feel of how these relational operators work. Now in the R studio, let us go ahead and assign some values to variables. So for example, X is assigned a value of 51 and Y is also assigned a value of 160. So we are going to use these two assignments in order to perform the relational or comparison operations in R. So X now holds the value of 51 and Y also holds the value of 60. So we can go ahead and perform the relational operation as S less than Y, in which case when evaluated results in true because X is indeed less than Y. 51 is less than 160. So X is less than or equal to Y executing this code also results in true. X greater than Y, we get false. X greater than or equal to Y, we get the answer to be false. X equals equals Y, executing this code, we get the answer also to be false because the two values are not the same. What about if I also go ahead and write 4 equals 4 by using the double equal sign, we end up getting the answer to be true. What happens if I decide to use the single assignment operator? 4 equals 4. Executing this code, R will simply throw an error because it says invalid left-hand side to assignment. So R kind of thinks you wanted to assign the value of 4 to the left-hand side, which is 4, which doesn't happen in R. So normally you would like to assign the value on the right hand side to a variable on the left hand side. So if you want to compare whether two values are equal in the mathematical sense of the word, in R you have to use the double equal sign. So this one will result in an error. So we can also go ahead and perform x is not equal to y and then we end up getting the answer to be true. X is 51, so we can also go ahead and write something like X is not equal to 51, and the answer is going to be false because S is indeed equal to 51. In R, complex logical statements can be constructed by combining multiple relational operators. So in which case, we can just simply perform complex logical statements with multiple relational operators. So these relational operators can be used with the AND operator, which is the ampersand from our previous lesson, and also the OR operator, which is the vertical bar or the pipe operator. So we can use these logical operators, combining them with the relational operators to perform complex logical statements. So for example, we can execute a code like six greater than or equal to seven and 52 equals equals three. Now, what essentially happens is that the first part of the relational operator six is greater than or equal to seven will evaluate to false because six is neither greater than seven nor equal to seven. So the answer is going to be false. And then using the ampersand operator or the and operator, 52 equals equals three on the right hand side will also evaluate to false because both values are not the same. So what we are essentially performing here with the relational operators combined with the logical operator, we are simply referring to the truth table logic that we learned in the previous lesson. So false and false when executed results in false. And so if I highlight this line of code and execute, we end up getting the results to be false. But one thing is, we can use parentheses to group conditions and detect the order of evaluation.
to ensure that the correct logical sequence is followed. So for example, I would like to place the left-hand side relational operator in parentheses in order to guide the sequence of the relational or logical operation that is being performed. It makes the code much more readable and much more nicer and appealing to anybody that gets your script and reads from it. So executing will still result in the same answer. Using the parenthesis, you end up forcing R to simply evaluate those expressions in the parenthesis or bracket first and perform the logical operation between the two statements that are found on both sides of that operator. We can also go ahead and perform more complex operations like, for example, I would say x7 equals 7 and 6 greater than 3 or 4 not equal to 10. And so executing this code results in true. Let's see how this works. The first one in the parenthesis, 7 equals equals 7 evaluates to true and six greater than three also evaluates to true. So let's wrap this in parenthesis. Or or not equal to 10 also evaluates to true. So in the end, we end up getting true and true will evaluate to true. And on the right hand side, we also have true. And so now true or true simply is going to return true. Okay, at this point, the point is well made, but you can even perform trickier operations using arithmetic and relational operators. However, it is important to remember that you have to write efficient code that is very easy to read and understand. So for example, we might have to write some much more complicated code. And if we're a beginner in R, I'm just trying to show you some of the cool things that you can do with the R programming language. So here, I would like to assign the value of five to the variable A, and then I would assign the value of 15 to the value B, and I would assign the value of 25 to the value C. And we are going to perform a very complicated operation in R. So in which case, I would like to do something like A, plus B, so here we are performing an arithmetic operation and trying to combine with the relational operation in order, in order to perform very trickier or complex calculations in this context. So here, I will just wrap this in parentheses, use the AND operator and just put in, for example, B minus two and then equals, equals, equals A times six. C not equal to A multiplied by five. And so you can see how complicated this code is going to be. However, if you execute this line of code, you will end up getting the answer not to be an error. So let us guess what really happened. We have assigned these values to A, B, and C, but we didn't execute them. So I will go ahead and highlight all these lines of code, click on run to execute, and the assignments have been made. So you can see them displayed in the environment window on the right-hand side. Now let us come back to the complex or complicated operation run this and see what result we are going to get now that we have assigned the values to the various variables. So by clicking on run, you end up getting the result to be false. So at this point, you would have to take your time and follow through with this kind of code because you can apply all that we have learned up here in order to understand how complicated this code can be. However, just like I mentioned earlier, it is very important that you write very simple codes or even if you are writing complicated code, you would have to ensure that you use the parenthesis or the brackets to guide the order of the logical operation, arithmetic operation, or relational operation that we have in R.